A new type of battery has been discovered and proved to be capable of lasting for more than 8 million, more than 8 million kilometers of use. Even at that point, it still retained 80% of its original capacity. This is the longest life battery ever discovered by humans. Now, this is not some quacky new battery. It's real. In fact, Jeff Dahn, who is involved with Tesla's battery technology, is actually part of this project. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. Thanks for supporting the channel by subscribing or becoming a member. I'll put a link in the description below to our member page. Battery technology has come a long way. A lot of the a lot of the fossil fuel lovers, they still say batteries don't last long enough. They still say things like, you'll have to replace your battery in your car in a few years time. There's no evidence of that whatsoever. In fact, batteries will almost always outlive the life of your car already. But hey, why not go one step better? There's a big push underway to increase the lifespan of lithium ion batteries, says techexplore.com. Powering EVs on the road today, batteries are incredibly good compared to what they were 10 years ago. But in 10 years time from now, well, you're gonna look at batteries like this. By law, in the United States, batteries must be able to hold 80% of their original full charge after eight years of operation, says Tech Explore. That tells you something, doesn't it? About the fake news being spread by, well, you know who. Many industry experts believe we need batteries that last decades, so that once they're no longer good enough for use in EVs, we can use them in second life applications, use them for the grid, use them to power your house, use them to power anything, your factory, whatever that may be. Researchers from Dalhousie University used the Canadian light source CLS at the University of Saskatchewan to analyze a new type of lithium ion battery material called a single crystal electrode that's been charging and discharging non-stop in a Halifax lab for more than six years. So they invented this battery six years ago. It's been charging and discharging non-stop for more than six years without a single break. It lasted more than 20,000 cycles before it hit the 80% capacity cutoff. More than 20,000. That translates to 8 million kilometers of driving before it hit 80%. So imagine having an electric car or a robo-taxi or whatever it is that does 8 million kilometers of driving before it even hits 80%. As part of the study, the researchers compared the new type of battery, which has only recently come to market, to a regular lithium-ion battery that lasted for 2,400 cycles before it reached the 80% cutoff. The main focus of our research was to understand how damage and fatigue inside a battery progresses over time and how we can prevent it, says Toby Bond a senior scientist at the CLS who conducted the research for his PhD under the supervision of Professor Jeff Dahn, Professor Emeritus and Principal Investigator, who also works with Tesla, NSERC, NSERC and Dalhousie Alliance at the Dalhousie University. Things got very interesting, he says, when the scientists used the ultra-bright synchrotron light to peer inside the two batteries. When they looked at the inner workings of the regular lithium battery, they saw an extensive amount of microscopic cracking in the electrode material caused by repeated charging and discharging. The lithium, he explains, actually forces the atoms in the battery material apart and causes expansion and contraction of the material. Eventually, there were so many cracks that the electrode was essentially pulverized. When the researchers looked at the single crystal electrode battery, they saw next to no evidence of this mechanical stress. In our images, they said, it looked very much like a brand new cell. We could almost not tell the difference. Bond attributes the near absence of degradation in the new style battery to the difference in the shape and behavior of the particles that make up the battery electrodes. In the regular battery, the battery electrodes are made up of tiny particles up to 50 times smaller than the width of a hair. If you zoom in on these particles, they are composed of even tinier crystals that are bunched together like snowflakes in a snowball. The single crystal is, as its name implies, one big crystal. It's more like an ice cube. If you have a snowball in one hand and an ice cube in the other, it's a lot easier to crush the snowball, says Bond. The ice cube is much more resistant to mechanical stress and strain. 
Well, researchers have for some time known that this type of new battery, a single crystal battery, resists the micro cracking that lithium ion batteries are susceptible to. This is the first time anyone has studied a cell that's been cycled for so long. Researchers, it appears, knew about these batteries, but they hadn't actually done this amount of study on them. They hadn't actually run them, had not had enough time. Think about how much time you need to get 6 million cycles out of a battery. To get 20,000 cycles out of a battery, which would be equivalent to 6 to 8 million kilometers. The great thing about doing this kind of measurement at a synchrotron is we can actually look at this at a microscopic level without having to take the cell apart. Once we cycle a cell for six years, you really don't want to take it apart. It's very precious. It's very valuable to us with so much information contained within it. Bond says, what's most exciting about the research is that it suggests we may be near the point where the battery is no longer the limiting component in an EV. I believe we're already at that point, but this would smash past any perceptions that batteries can't last for more than 30 to 40 years. And that means the battery will always outlive the life of the car. We really need these vehicles to last as long as possible because the longer you drive them, the better it's improvement on the carbon footprint, it says Bond. As well, if battery packs can outlast the vehicle, you can use them for mass energy storage where the energy density that's critical for powering an EV doesn't matter as much. We might see in 20, 30 years time from now, big batteries being installed that are simply a collection of old batteries. We're already doing that today, but in the future, these batteries could last for decades and decades and decades. The new batteries are already being produced commercially, says Bond, and their use should ramp up significantly within the next couple of years. I think work like this just helps underscore how reliable they are, and it should help companies that are manufacturing and using these batteries to plan for the long term. Now, there's been reports that Tesla are wanting to use some variation of these batteries in their cars. I don't know if that's true. It's just simply rumors. I have no evidence of that whatsoever other than rumors. And obviously, there is a connection to Tesla here with Jeff Dunn. Could these batteries be in electric cars within the next five or six years? Well, considering they're already being made and used today, it's entirely possible. Now, the batteries that have been made so far, as far as I'm aware, are not big enough to put into a, an EV. They're not like a, an entire array of battery packs big enough to, say, power an EV. So we don't know how that would go. But if this does work, and it sounds like it could, this is a game changer in the most insane way. We have never seen a technological innovation like this, I don't believe, ever. I mean, we're talking about basically a battery that lasts possibly forever. What are your thoughts on this? How might this change the planet? There's no doubt that this would have enormous ramifications and it could be a negative. I mean, some battery companies might not want to make these. They might be thinking, well, if we make these for everyone, well, what are we going to do in 10 years? No one's going to need any more batteries. When there is enough batteries out there, the old ones won't die. We won't have a job anymore. We won't be able to make any more because there'll simply be enough batteries for the entire world and they won't need to replace them. So how will this play out? Will EV manufacturers, will EV, I mean, I'm sure EV manufacturers, car manufacturers would want them, you would think. But for those kinds of reasons, they might not. 